What's up guys, good morning. Early morning CPI data comes out in about 25 minutes, so you wanna be watching that very closely. This is the inflation report, which has a lot to do with the stock market, depending how numbers come out. We're also gonna be talking about Mullen stock today, and really what's a realistic price target, because I know there's a lot of people and a lot of information out there, and you really wanna just get super clear on what you're looking for. So yes, I'm gonna show you the charts, you wanna stay tuned for that, but it's gonna be very simple very easy to understand exactly where Mullen is heading next. Don't forget to drop a like. I would always appreciate that. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. And of course, don't forget to grab your coffee. This early morning, here's mine. So you can see right here that the next release is June 2023. CPI data is scheduled to be released today, July 12th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And as I'm making this video, it is 8, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So we have about 20 minutes. Let me know down below what you think. Do you think the numbers are gonna be good or bad? Because depending how the numbers come out really relates a lot to the stock market and stocks are either gonna go up in about 20 minutes or they are gonna completely start crashing down before market opens. All right, so price targets. This is the most important thing because so many people are invested in this stock and they have averages of a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars plus, right? And some people are lucky and have an average of maybe like 25 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents even is a good place to be in my opinion. So if you're under a dollar, you're in a pretty good spot. If you're over a dollar, you need to start working on bringing your cost basis down if you want to get your money back because with Mullen stock, it is very tricky. And I'm just gonna show you what has it done before. And this is the four hour time frame, just so you know, and what can be expected moving forward. Now, some of you might not like this video, but I'm going to tell you the bad and the very good that can happen to Mullen stock. So the first thing I want you to look at is obviously the chart, okay? And the yellow circles that I drew for you way up there. As you could see, the stock tested the 50 SMA three times, okay? This was back in March, back in April, and again in May, okay? So far in June, we haven't tested it at all, and in July, we did test a little bit right there, you can see. Now, we didn't really touch the line, the line like we did before, but we got very close and then sold off. And what has been happening right now? Well, when we hit the 50 SMA here, which was around 32 cents, we almost hit it. Now we've been selling off and we're trading at 18 cents right now. So for Mullen stock, this is an indicator you can use to kind of tell where is Mullen moving next. Now, the positive side of all of this is if we can break the 50 SMA, I do believe we have a shot at hitting the 100 SMA which right now is priced at 77 cents. But as the days go on and maybe even weeks it might take to get up there, it's gonna come down. So as of right now, I have a best case price scenario of about 75 cents as of right now. Now it's gonna take news to get here. We're gonna need production news. We're gonna need some other substantial news that we've gotten like the buyback, like the lawyer who's fighting this basically and all the BS stuff that has been going on with this stock that could help push us up to 75, 77 cents or wherever the 100 SMA is in the coming days or weeks, right? And then you have the 200 SMA way up here, which I think is going to be a little harder to hit right now. That's at $2.29. Um, just looking at the charts, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen anytime soon. Now, of course, all of this can be thrown out the window if we get any surprise news from David and Mullen. Um, if shorts start to cover this will also start to help push the stock up to at least 75 cents in my opinion but ultimately this is kind of looking like a downtrend right now again if we go back to the charts every time we hit the 50 sma we tend to sell off and we continue to sell off it's hard for me to believe though that we're going to continue to sell off and go under 10 cents again but we could bounce around maybe 15 16 cents and just kind of trade here for a couple days. You also want to look at the stochastic. Okay, I drew yellow circles for you again. Every time it's crossed over from blue to red, we have come down. You can even see it right here. We hit high points on the stochastic, got to 32 cents, crossed over, started selling off. 
Look at all the other yellow circles I drew for you. Same scenario, right? And the last indicator we can look at is the RSI, and this is right on point. It hit 54 three times so far, way back then, and then it sold off. Again, sold off, and now we hit it again right here, and we've been selling off since 32 cents. So does this mean that we're going further down? Potentially we could, okay, right now trading at 1798 pre-market. But again, I'm just sharing with you what the charts have done before. This is not financial advice. You gotta do what's best for you and decide. But there is another positive thing that you wanna be aware of. You can see that the 50-day moving average has gone from red to blue. So that is a positive indicator that if we could trade above this, that we can move potentially higher. You know, Mullen does have to bottom out at some point in my opinion. So just because what it has done before hitting the 50 SMA, it sold off, this time could be different because we are in the month of July. If production gets started, then 10 cents could have been the actual bottom. And right now we could just be making higher lows on the stock price and eventually make our way up to 75 cents, eventually break the 50, the 100 SMA, and eventually get our way up back up to 200 SMA. But again, we need positive news that Mullen is actually doing the right things to get revenue in the door. So how do they do that? Continue marketing your product, com continue getting it in front of people, sell your product, start producing your product, and also getting partnerships like a Menzies deal, any type of government deal through RRDS would be very good for this stock. Any surprise news that they could throw us, um, obviously updates with Randy Marion will be really good if they get any more sales, any more colleges that step in and want these vans. With where we're at right now though, I probably would start dollar cost averaging. And again, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for us to have more of a major sell-off. If we don't sell off and we continue to move up, then I'm happy with the share count that I have. I started um, trading it last week and increased my share count. Of course, if you wanna learn anything about that, check out the links down below. Patreon, we have over 166 active members and a private Discord for Patreon members. And yes, I break this down, but people in the Discord break this down even more. And they go over the 30 minute, one hour, all kinds of crazy stuff. So again, I'm watching CPI data very closely. This is gonna take a toll on Tesla, obviously. Palantir, I talk about DraftKings, a lot of bigger names out there, a lot of other stocks that you all probably hold. You wanna be aware of what happens with the CPI data coming out in about 11 minutes. I appreciate you for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like though if you got any value, if you learned anything, and we will see you on the next one.